Welcome to the cellar. Got a great tutorial for you guys today. Uh, if you are an editor, one of the most time consuming things during the editing process can be in laying in titles. I mean, it can be a real pain in the ass. So, um, I've come up with a pretty quick system to lay in a lot of titles. Uh, specifically, if they're the same type of title, in other words, it's to the lower third that's going to be repeated out when someone's names are on an interview or um, throughout a DVD that's highlighting some information. Could be a box in the, uh, in the corner. Um, could be any type of text that's going to be repeated in the same type of format, but it's going to be in multiple areas throughout the sequence. This is a process to help you speed up actually laying that down in the sequence. So let's start out right here. Uh, as you can see, I have this little sequence I threw together, which is just literally three clips. Um, I'm actually going to move this one over there. So basically what we have here is we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven markers. Seven markers that I've laid out. Uh, and that's the first step in this process is you want to go through your sequence and you want to identify the seven spots where you are going to lay out your titles okay so I picked random spots here to lay out uh, our imaginary titles then what I did is the second step is you're going to set up basically one complete title and what I mean by that is you're gonna have the title created you're going to have the transitions as you can see here as I zoom in I have two transitions here on each end of the title of when it comes in a switch pan from Boris FX if you don't know Boris FX I would definitely check it out it's a great upgrade to Premiere um, some great plugins and there you go so I have two switch pans coming in I also have here if you can see right down here on the timeline I have this which are just two sound effects which I'll play real quick so you can hear as when the title comes in bang, and then back when the title goes out okay so I have all of these are elements that are part of this title so if I want to create another title I'm gonna need the same thing I'm gonna need this layer right here of this title I'm gonna need these two transitions I'm going to need these sound effects both here in these spots and also these transitions for the sound effects so that can be quite time consuming to uh, lay in and repeat and so forth and so on so there's a couple of different ways that you can execute this to repeat it the first step is to go to where you created your first title I'm calling it Toots Title 1 okay so that's right here this is Toots Title 1 and what I did here is I've duplicated it each time for each placement in the sequence so this marker is placement 2 that's Toots Title 2 this marker is placement 3 that's Toots Title 3 four four and so forth and so on and the way I did that is I just started with the original title which you can see is right here so this is the original title it's got the blue rectangle behind it and this content right here which is easily selectable alright so I took that title and the first thing I did was very very simply I just duplicated the title okay then I would go in and rename it so we would be up to touch title 8 at this point and then I just double clicked it and I would go to the original content and I would change it to say, you know, whatever I wanted it to say. Touch title 8. And then I would adjust it so it would move over nice and easy. Uh, I'm all out of whack now. And I adjusted it so it would move over nice and easy. And the title would be exactly the same, even though I moved over my rectangle. There we go. So... Once I have that done, I X out of there, and that's my touch title 8, so we can delete that one. So I have all of them already created here. And what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to go down to my first title in the sequence. I'm going to select it, and I'm also going to select the sound effects that are associated with it. So I now have selected everything that's associated with the first title. Now there's two ways to do this, okay? The first is, uh, what I like to do, because it's just quite easy, is I like to hold down the Option or Alt key. Okay, the option or alt key, and then I'm going to, now I've unclicked this, I've clicked it all, I've let go of the mouse, I hold down the option key now, I click it again, and I'm going to drag to my next marker, and you see where it lines up perfectly, and bang, and that's going to be my next title, and I'm going to repeat this process. The other way, which, you know, can be quite, can be easy also, but you just have to make sure that you're in the appropriate, um, your appropriate layers are selected here so I have video 2 and audio 2 which is where I want this stuff to be pasted is you can copy and then you can go down to each marker and you can just paste nice and easy and sometimes this works a little bit quicker than the option drag it depends on how many titles you have to do but this can save you a lot of time also and bang so now we have the copy and paste so I've now pasted the same title over and over again as you can see uh, repeated throughout the sequence where I want my titles the next step 
is I'm going to click Shift Z because that's what it is on my keyboard shortcuts. But uh, you're going to have to figure out what it is on yours or you can set them on your own. But one of the easy ways um, is to just make a quick shortcut, um, a quick way to accent, to make a keyboard shortcut for your keyboard shortcuts. I always do that. I think it's the best way to uh, pull up this board. But once you have your keyboard shortcuts selected, um, you're going to go down to this one. Now, I've customized mine. As you can see, it says custom here. I've customized my um, keyboard shortcuts. I certainly suggest that. That is a whole tutorial in and of itself. But um, I certainly suggest getting used to customizing some of the actions that you repeat over and over again as an editor in however your style is and whatever you do. You definitely want to know the keyboard shortcuts so you can use the mouse as little as possible. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on clip here. And I've already made this one, but I'm going to show you here. So under clip, I'm going to go down to where there's another arrow and it says replace with clip. And that replace with clip, I'm going to click that down. And you're going to see I have three options from source monitor, from source monitor match, match frame, and from the bin. And where it says from the bin, I put in a keyboard shortcut that is the option key plus the B. So that means I hold down option and click B. And that would be it's going to replace whatever clip I'm, I'm on with whatever I'm selected from the bin. So the reason I'm going to do that is I'll show you in a minute. But find this. You can set, doesn't matter what your keyboard shortcut is, you can set anything you want at all. Uh, even if you only do it for once and then change it back, you know, it, it's that versatile here. So once my keyboard shortcut is set, I'm then going to go over to my second title first I'm gonna go over to the bin actually I'm going to select my second title then I'm gonna to go to the sequence and I'm gonna select that title and I'm gonna hold down the option key and I'm gonna hold down B and then you're gonna see it's gonna switch and then I'm gonna go over my third title and I'm gonna to go to my third title in the bin I'm gonna go over to my sequence I'm gonna select the third title and I'm gonna option B and right, you're gonna see all the titles are gonna change the fourth title I'm going to select the fourth title. I don't think this was actually changed. This was just a repeated title, but we'll see. Yes, it was, but you can see as I zoom in here that it's changed. There's touch title four. Okay, same thing for five. I go to five. I go to five. I make sure that I'm clicked on the sequence and that this is highlighted here in the box. Then I option B, bang, and it gets changed. And what's interesting about this is you have to make sure as you're going to go here, you're going to make sure that this is selected in your bin. So this is six. I'm going to go to six and make sure I select title six. Once that's selected, I hit option B and it replaces. Okay. And then the last one at all, of course, I'm going to go to title seven in the bin, come back over to the sequence, option B, bang. And we've laid out all of our titles nice and easy quickly uh, with all sound effects, with all of the transitions at all the points that they want to come in uh, throughout the sequence and this took us uh, gotta be only a couple of minutes so and that's with me explaining it so that, that's how quick it can be you can see how this can really save you a lot of time over the course of a large sequence uh, for instance up here you see how many titles I had to lay in here uh, this is video 3 this layer right here these are all titles uh, and you can see how many there are and it's hard to see down here because they're kinda shadowy but you can see how much how many sound effects there's one for every single title there so I mean that would have taken hours and hours to lay in with transitions and, and fix and line up the sound effects and all this stuff and this just saves you a ton of time uh, especially when you're redoing the title so hope I saved you some time thanks for checking out the seller uh, follow me at PJ underscore N O R M Z on Twitter or like us at edit seller on facebook.com talk to you soon later